Hi, y'all. It's Kristen from Christopia Studios. And I'm going to do a very experimental sort of pour today. Something I've never done, but I've been wanting to do for quite some time. This is a 20 by 16 inch gallery wrapped canvas. So you see it's got the um, gallery wrap on the end. And I'm going to do a blowout, but I'm gonna to try to do it, or some of you might have heard Dutch pour, but I don't call it Dutch pour. Rinse Madonna is the Dutch pour lady, and I use different additives in my paint than she does and different thicknesses of paint. But let's give her credit where credit is due. She's the one who inspired me to do a some blowouts that look very much like flowers and florals. And also an inspiration is Georgia O'Keeffe as well, who inspired me to do the same. So I'm going to try to mimic the, the petals of an iris on this big canvas. The first thing I'm going to do is take my white, which is just white with Floetrol and water. There are no silicone additives in here. I'm gonna stir this up. Okay, I had to pause it to find my stir sticks. So I have now stirred up this white, which is gonna be my base. Um, I will tell you, the consistency is pretty thin. When I'm doing blowouts, I like my consistencies to be nice and thin. And now I'm going to do what I forgot to do in the first place and baby wipe this off my hands and put on my gloves because I'm going to be using several different colors. While I'm doing this, I'm going to make sure you're still on because I have a nasty habit of forgetting I've paused and I'm doing a whole piece. All right, the first step here in doing irises, and if you want, look up Georgia O'Keeffe's irises. Um, I'm really inspired by her work, and I think something similar using a similar color palette that she used, I'm going to try to do a very nicely controlled um, iris with her as my inspiration, though I'm not copying anything of hers. I just want to do an iris. Um, so, uh, first thing I'm going to do is cover my canvas in white. A good amount of it. I don't like to use a lot, a lot of paint. However, I feel like when I'm doing blowouts like this, I need a lot of paint because my giant palette knife are you here you are because if you don't have enough paint and if your paint is too thick nothing's going to glow and make those beautiful lacy edges so I'm gonna go ahead and just cover the edges I'm gonna pull it to the edge and I'm also going to Use my fingers and pull some down on the sides so I don't have to worry about covering my sides later. Should have just done it with my finger. I'm faster and a little more thorough than my palette knife, to be honest. Especially since I have a rag behind me. Now I'm keeping this quite thick. I want there to be plenty of paint for this to go over. I am going to blowtorch this because I've put a lot of bubbles in here, but let's clean my hands off first. On my trusty rag. This is a dress that was just too gross to donate after I shrank out of it. And so now it is my rag. I like to clean my tools as I go. I don't want If 
I'm too boring, just feel free to fast forward. As far as with my stuff, I'm gonna use my little Pemberley torch. I've never found the need to get anything bigger or badder. My husband actually did borrow this to make creme brulees a couple weeks ago, and I think he has run me out of uh, butane. I need to fill it back up again. A little weak. All right. Now I just saw a little hair that sank down in there. Get that out. I just want you to know that consistency is important when doing blowouts. I've done several of them that were too thick and didn't give me the result I wanted. Now, all of these paints are just water, Floetrol, and paint. Usually Floetrol, American Floetrol, by the way. I haven't ordered any of the other stuff. I don't really need it. I've found the style I like. And I'm going to try to control the flow to make the petals go in the ways I want them to. I know that sounds funny, but an iris tends to have a couple petals that go up and curve over one another like this, and then a few more that fall down a little bit. So that's how I'm going to con control my flow. Another little piece of fuzz. My cat's been getting in here of late so she's her hair is definitely flies everywhere when she wherever she goes so the first color that i'm going to put down on the outside of the petals i'm going to do a petal this way first so i'm going to put that purple that way and it's going to blow up this way and lace out from the center of the flower. I'm calling this my flower center. I'll just put that little bit of purple there to remind myself. And then this will be another petal up that way. And then I'll have another petal falling kind of to the side over here. And another to the side over here. And then I believe I'm gonna try that this way. Now I'm gonna put a tiny bit of this darker purple just in the middle here. We're going to do this in several parts. This isn't going to be just one blowout that changes the whole thing. I'm going to do this in a very controlled manner. I love controlled pours. I love doing controlled swipes. And we're just going to put that there. Now, this blue a little blocked. There we go. I think I'm just going to put a little on the inside lines here just to help with a little shading and shadowing. And one wonderful thing about pores that I love is that if it turns out in a way I'm not sure about or don't like, I can add more to it. I can do a little bit more. Now the yellow is going to be just the little stamens inside the inside of the flower. So this is what I've got thus far. So let's put on this dryer and see if I can lace things pretty well. I have tangled up. Okay. All right. I'm putting it on high on the cool setting.
that's a really good start. <laughs> and I'll tell you why, because I wanted a lot of white to turn up. That's why I did the white puddle in the background. I'm actually going to add a little bit more white down here, partly for the flow and partly because it's just a little too dark. It's all right that I've covered up a little bit of that. And then I'm going to get my little blower and see about better than I expected and not quite what I wanted yet. Up here, I'm really liking. I want to get a little bit more of that edge lacing up here. And the way I'm going to have to do that is get a tiny bit more of this purple on the inside edges. Right in there. out those edges a little bit. I'll try to turn the volume down on the video when I'm editing. I'm going to have to listen to this.
I hope my head doesn't get too much in the way. I'm trying not to, but I also don't. just to kind of show that little outline. And that's what I'm going to do a little bit with the blue as well. Just very Hope you don't think I've made a muddy mess of this. I have um, got a few things I want to, like I said, create edges on. idea of the flower, but I really want these lacy edges. This dries, that darker lacing color doesn't go down below and make a mess of things. What I like about this is that there's going to be this lovely little arch in the middle where you see the inside of the flower and then the, le the petals will just lace and overlap one another. And I'll be adding a little detail once this dries. I'm hoping the paint isn't so thick that it dries badly. I'm really, really hoping that it does not dry badly. I'm going to do a few more bits around the edges. Um, perhaps put a tiny bit of white back in the little spaces, but I don't know. I might just hang it out that way. I'll paint in any white that I want in between the petals. down 
for a closer look at the lacing and what I mean by that. I really like how that makes edges of petals look like flower petals. I'm hoping that when this dries, it dries in a way that helps you to see all of that beautiful um, edging that's going on. And then I'm going to embellish and paint the insides to get a little more definition in here so you can tell once it's completely finished that it's meant to be a very large iris flower. So let me get my gloves off. I take them off in a way that I can let them dry out and reuse them again. So I'll bring you down to take a look. And then she's going to go sit in a different place to dry that I'm going to make sure is level. Okay, my ring light's getting a little too lit. But I just wanted to show you some of these little edges here. These are going to be, hopefully they hold up, the laces around the edge of the flower petals. A couple cells came up in there. That happens sometimes with Floetrol and water both. But as a whole, I think this is going to turn out really well to embellish into a very pretty large iris flower. I'll bring you back when it's dry. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the little bell for notifications of future videos. And click on any links below to see more of my art. Hope to see you again soon. I'll bring you back for the embellishment.